Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster. And welcome. <laughs> welcome to a new game today. <laughs> this is later alligator. And it's about an alligator in the big city. The big alligator city, that is. This, this is this just started playing when I load up the game. <laughs> Later, alligator. Here we go. Cool. Music's a bit loud, so I'm gonna turn this bad boy down just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is Later, alligator, and I've been really, really wanting to play this for a long time. Ever since I saw it, like the initial trailer for it, I think a year ago, and it came out, I think, earlier this year, and I put on my wish list, finally decided to buy it, and just been waiting for a good time to play it. And I think now is a fantastic time to check out this amazing little game about alligators, jazz, the big city. Pat, no company, p please, thank you. Wait, what do you want me to do? I have my briefcase. Oh, that's just the settings. <clears throat> uh, um, no hablo inglés, no hablo español, no hablo at all, not even one hablo. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm trying to lay low here, so can you maybe move on, please? Okay, okay, you got me. I'll come clean. I'm sorry for being so rude before, I'm just a little on edge. Normally I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes, I can totally see the entirety of... So, I... Oh, so flies I can totally see the entirety of. So I feel safe with you, stranger. You see, usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool, eating two bagels at the continental breakfast, eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. But this year I've got a problem. A real big problem. <laughs> a real, real big uh-oh problem. Oh, I love this already. <laughs> the thing is, I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out for squealing. I didn't mean to squeal honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and the secrets just start flowing out of my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now! <laughs> oh, cheese and crackers. What am I gonna do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Two-ton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at 8 sharp for the event. <clears throat> they think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family is gonna come to really show me how it's done. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna sleep with the fishes. I have a shellfish allergy, and my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a sec. You're interested in me, right? You wanted to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you think you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator, New York City. <clears throat> Find out information about the event and report back to me. Yes, this is a great idea. Together, maybe we can collect enough info to, to, to save me. You want to save me, right? Right? <laughs> Great, I'll text you if I need any help. Uh, how about you go out there and start? Do you have a watch? I do. Uh, you do? Great! I'll text a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. So make sure you check your watch a bunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities while investigating, it could take time. Time I don't have! <laughs> Because I'm going to have a murder done on me! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Think of the beach pat. Remember what Dr. Doofelsnoot told you. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel better just looking at your super kind and visible face. <laughs> and be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. We need to find a double bed. In this economy? <laughs> See you later, friend. Stay safe. <laughs> Love these characters. Kitchen. Okay, let's talk to you. Bub. Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up there in the corner of the screen. Oh, thank you. We provide all our patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillowments. <laughs> Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment to exit and munch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up, since that arrow is vintage. 
and known to contain harmful materials such as lead, paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poisons and cilantro. <laughs> Please feel free to visit us again here at Johnny John Johnny's and have a Johnny of a day. <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Later, alligator! I love it. This week, click and drag up and down. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Also, I'm gonna turn down the music volume just a little bit more. Alright, so... We're supposed to help solve this mystery, or at least get more information so that Pat doesn't get uh, put away with the fishes here. Right, let's talk to this guy. Slick Mickey. Hey, bub, you got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't, I ain't above asking for five. I saw you walking out of John Johnny's over there and, it's, and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. A vision in pinstripes they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of exceptional taste. As well as one who might like to dabble in high stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. No, don't actually feel me. I got a skin condition. <laughs> they call me slick for a reason. And according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. But I ain't gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate. You know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street, which is also where I got this skin condition. <laughs> and my impolite lower back tattoo. <laughs> Whom? Pat or the event? Whom? The name's Mickey, but everyone calls me the old king of the cards. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence to stop stealing his email passwords. Then his pants fell down. Then he fell down into an open manhole. <laughs> but I have it on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five other people that. So, bada bing, <laughs> the old card king at your service. Oh, uh, let's talk about Pat. <laughs> Are you talking about Pat the alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. <laughs> One time when we was kids, us guys got locked out of CC's D after recess and missed juice and cookie time. We only had one granola bar between us and good old Pat gave me the bigger half. I'll always remember that. No, I ain't crying. I just spit in my own eyes as a display of my street toughness. <laughs> the event. Oh, you know about the event, eh? Huh? Well, looky here, bub. It's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed just like they're sealed when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. <laughs> All right. Maybe, though. Just maybe. If you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. You, you think you can keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find the queen? All right, let's do it. Stay on your guard. Keep an eye on the cards. Three card Mickey. Okay, I'll play. Let's do it. Mickey's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. Cool. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. <laughs> See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. All right. <laughs> Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's obviously this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll never know who won. Who knows which way the wind blows or some junk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, this is great. You got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Anyways, about the event. <laughs> well, yeah, you ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real affair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. Pat's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. 
Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out there, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. Those dermatology copays are a real kick in the alligator pants, you feel me? Oh! <laughs> Oh, this is this is a fantastic game. Slick Mickey. The trolley ain't here yet, so why don't you use go check out the arcade? Mickey got banned from for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis epidemic. But that ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Okay, so we want to go to the arcade? Anywhere else to go? So what if we check our our watch. Oh, achievement unlocked. Got the time? So it's 8.30. When did he want me to come back? I don't even remember. Anyway. Oh, we're getting a call. Unknown. Um, hello? Yes. Wait, what am I... Is this by chance? Your first time in Alligator, New York City? I mean, in the city, city, not, um, Alligator Long Island or something. It is. Who's this? I thought so. Oh, um, you don't know me. I'm sorry if that's weird. I just thought, if you'd like, I could text you some tips. The city is really big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. Is it okay if I help you out from time to time? Sure. Ah, great. I'll be sure to text you again. Don't forget to enjoy yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to these crazy characters over here. Let's talk to you first. Oh, there's someone back here. Uh, no, let's talk to you. Joni. Hey there. You up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know? Like Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day, but you... I remember such a visible face like yours. Ah, oh, look at me, I'm being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or, or nothing. I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a skee-ball and some sticky-fingered kid kept throwing me into a ten-point hole. Go for 50, dingus! I tried to yell, but being a ball and all, the ding-dong couldn't hear me. <laughs> I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's my neighbor's terrarium. The vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast was black coffee and a half can of leftovers candy cigarettes. <laughs> the name's Joni, or Baloney. If you're my fourth grade bully, come back to fight me. <laughs> you're not, right? Sam? Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping floors and keeping all the games running smooth as a baby's bombing behind. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I left to be closer to my gaming hobby. They let me keep the leather jacket, though. And the company hairstyle. What about Pat? Pat's my cousin. And also the most genuine doof I know, so you better be nice to him, you hear? I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left hook and a moderately insulting right hook. <laughs> And a kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. I tried to sign it up for some calming hot yoga at the YACA, but it didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? It ain't great, bud. <laughs> it ain't great. Alright, let's talk about the event. Look, I know you're here spying for Pat for whatever reason, but that's fine. But I can't tell you family secrets, you feel me? To give up info that hot, you'd have to really impress me. Okay. You got a game for me? So what do you think? Can you roll the ball, old timer? I'm talking pinball. The old Penny B, as I like to call it. Against the advice of both my friend's family and the support of therapist I see on Thursday. I got the highest score on Lizard Wizards here, eight months running. But I'm always looking for a real pinhead to, to pit my skills against. So what do you say? Care to take on a pinball lizard like me? <laughs> I didn't mean to make a joke. I take this very seriously. <laughs> Uh, the old Penny B. Beat their score or go for more. Yeah, let's try it. <clears throat> Click the plunger to launch the pinball. When the ball's in play, control the flippers by clicking R and L or use left and right on the keyboard. Okay. Beat 5,000 points to earn Joni's respect. Cool. Oh, yeah, here we go. So we got to do this. And then we actually got to play pinball. Let's do it. Oh! Quabam! 
Oh no, oh no, there it goes. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> oh no, 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 my pinball! Or <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Don't go over the edge. Thank you. Wha-bam! Oh my gosh. No! Wait, what does this all say? <laughs> Darkness will prevail. Trademark. Ah, uh, where's my other catchphrase? <laughs> oh, here it is. Alligators aren't lizards, technically. Cobra Cabra. I would never be in pinball because I hate <laughs> pinball deeply. <laughs> what? Bing -bing. Wait, what score did I need to beat? I'm lost. Oh, careful. Careful. No, no, right down the middle, no! Okay, let's go again. Yes. Oh, no. No, no! Oh, I won! Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. You got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. <laughs> e, it's been a long time since I've seen moves like that in front of lizard wizards here. Get the ball hitting all the do what's and who's it so fast I could barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang out with another student of the pinball arts. You found a puzzle piece. Oh, jeez. <laughs> About the event. Now, this might be a rumor, but word on the street, there's going to be some sick games there. Not pinball per se, but you know, you take what you can get. Anyway, that's all I can really say. I better get back on the grind trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist, Pinhead. Catch you later. <laughs> My supple wrist. <laughs> Let's see, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. Uh-oh. Also, I feel like the music in here is copywritten, so I gotta be careful. Rocco. <laughs> Why do we always gotta come here? This place is a dump. You didn't have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in a dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. Like, you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry from my dream journal last week. <laughs> Take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bonnie. I'm lining up my stick. You gotta be delicate with these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace all night waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. <laughs> How come you never hold me like that, Bon? <laughs> Okay, we got a few people over here. Who's under here? Artie. My mom is always on my case like, Artie, go outside and talk to other alligators. Or Artie, stop hiding behind various types of curtains in and outside our home. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Sweet Geraldine. My face is probably in the way. Uh, hey up there, long arms. You got a sec? Nice suit. What's a fancy reptile like you doing at the back of the arcade? I know what you're after. That's right. I've got you pegged just by looking at you. You want cold, hard, plush. Well, you found the right alligator, and I've got a job that'll pay for both our retirements and poorly made stuffies. <laughs> you might see a humble claw machine, but this is a vault, and we're gonna break in. But we can't just walk in. No, there's countermeasures. Sometimes Norman, the security guard, comes by and says I'm not allowed to put my claw and chair into the aisle. Without the boost, I'm not tall enough to work the claw. She says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are. You see behind here? That's one ailing power strip juicing up every one of these babies. One wrong move in pinball and boom! This place lights up like my chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen burner too high. <laughs> Your shirt says anime. <laughs> Uh, me? I'm not around these parts as sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine. <clears throat> you haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I have no fingerprints and Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. <laughs> or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. At least that's what he said when I asked him to the spring fling. Pat? Pat is a patsy, but not my patsy, that's for sure. He's related to some of my dad's friends. One time, at Dad's show, Pat pulled the fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. <laughs> Turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. <laughs> no one could find him for almost an hour until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall's crawl space. He was covered in spiders and had eaten the pizza, but was otherwise unharmed, physically, anyway. 
That guy's pretty weird. <laughs> the event. I'd love to tell you about the event. I really would. But this is our first time on the job together, Mac. You haven't yet earned my unbridled trust. All right, let's play your game. Maybe we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. The claw machine? It's a two-man operation. I need someone who's not gonna rat me out for additional prizes when plushes come to sh when plush comes to shove. You feel me? What do you say, old timer? One last claw machine score. The big one. <laughs> Grab the prizes as she advises. <laughs> what is this little bread smiley? Let's play. Follow sweet Geraldine's instructions to get the perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right to control the crane. When you're ready to grab, click the enter button. Okay. Simple. Simple. <laughs> Here she is, the big quesadilla, the mother load. Inside the vault is the treasure trove of prizes. I've had my eye on a couple of choices, choice goods, but I need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. <laughs> a tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So, what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. <laughs> First, you should warm up your tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer. Show me what you got. Round one. Um... Should I get, uh, I want to get the key. Oh my gosh. No, that's not what I wanted. I heard a prize, let's check the slot. You know, everyone calls it Cubenstein, but it's actually Cubenstein's monster. <laughs> like, hello, did you read the booklet novella that came with the game? <laughs> you got some chops, I respect that. But now the real job begins. How will you react when the pressure's on? This time you follow my lead. Guys, E! Give me that boy band CD or I'm gonna explode! <laughs> the eight guys. Alright, let's get. <laughs> let's get that boy band CD that she loves. Well, bam! Oh no. Oh yeah, there we go. You got one, what is it? Yes, my favorite K pop group! And it's limited edition! Packed with the sweat of two of eight fan members. <laughs> I don't even mind that Joshua Ransom got arrested for indecent snow tubing. I still love him. <laughs> and hopefully the frostbite is on the men, just like the fans' hearts. <laughs> You're really good at this. But it's finally time for the big score. I can see it in your eyes. You're ready to get the ultimate prize. Get me the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise of all time. Final Friend City. <laughs> He's the dreamy one with the spiky hair. This is it, the big one! Round three. Oh my gosh, this? If anybody knows... Oh, if anybody knows this... <laughs> if anybody knows the video on YouTube of Batman and Spoderman... <laughs> is this the same artist? Oh, I... Wait, wait, what am I supposed to grab? <laughs> Wait, what did, what did you want me to grab? Oh crap. Oh no, it doesn't go far enough. Oh crap, okay, let's just drop it here. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> did you get it, the ultimate prize? Jeez. Oh, I can't believe you got the dreamiest anime game boy from Final Frenzy, Claude Stripes. Claude, his hair is almost as prickly as his social interactions with women. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, you're welcome. We want it. Heck yeah. <clears throat> I can't believe it. The big score. And thanks to you, we had a clean getaway. You got a family badge member. Oh, jeez. I'll tell you what you need to know. The event is a secret. I'm a gator, not a rat. That's right, a classic double cross. That's the calling card of sweet Geraldine, master criminal. Thanks, Geraldine. You gave me nothing. Okay, so that's everybody. I think. <laughs> hey, bub, you're just in time. The trolley got here a minute ago. <laughs> oh, this is great. 
<laughs> Why don't you go check out the city? Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe, or some protective handwear. I'm gross. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> Let's check our clock. Oh, it's 9.30. Oh, there's a lot more characters in here. Oh, look, oh, look at all these gators! Pat, you're back already? Should I be worried? <laughs> nah, you're fine, you're fine. So we can talk to a few people here, or we can go back outside. Let me talk to you, Charlene. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. That's true, it's very true. He's <laughs> just so uptight. <laughs> oh, oh, who are you? I must speak to you. Wait, who are you? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Wait, I wanna talk to you. Oh, look, I can interact with things. Ooh. <gasps> I got a puzzle piece. Wait, what are all the puzzles then? I got, th th ow, 33 family badges? I like I have a knife in my bag. Um, so I wonder what we do with the puzzle pieces then. Okay, so let's go back out. Let's talk to the few people out here in the city. Daryl, you ever eat a John Johnny's here? The food's all right, but that bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. I picked that thing up and bam! Chatter pants the rest of the day. <laughs> Gross. Hey, I wanna talk to you. Okay, what about you? Lovely Maria. Oh dear, I think I may have left my scrapbooking scissors at home on accident. Oh, I found my scissors. It must have been a, <laughs> it must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. Hee <laughs> hee. I've been trying to get outside the home more since I had the new baby. Nana is watching her today, so here I am, out in the world. It's a little nerve wracking to be away from the nursery after those months, to be honest. <laughs> I already miss all the new baby smells. Well, not all the smells. We all know more things come out of babies than just the sweet fragrance of their cute little heads. <laughs> well, even that stuff is a little cute. <laughs> Let's talk to you. Boom. I'm Maria. It's wonderful to meet you. I was heading to the local YACA before I ran into you. I'm taking a class there today on scrapbooking, but I'm a little early. I meant to wait here in the lovely weather until their class on mom yoga and self-defense ends. Eat, pray, shove. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Do you mean my son, Pat? Oh, I'm just so proud of him. Oh, it's your son. It's his birthday today, did you know? He's so funny with how he treats himself to, the ho to a hotel stay every year on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast. And those free tiny soaps! I do get concerned he eats too many of those, however. Suds shouldn't be coming out of the snoot of a boy that age! <laughs> the event is actually why I'm taking this class today. Okay. Actually, since you're one of Pat's friends, maybe I could help a mom out. You could help a mom out. You see, I'm trying to put together a family tree to bring tonight as a surprise, but I don't have everyone's pictures. It's so hard for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone would like me to use their photos from the early 2000s. <laughs> we all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. <laughs> since you're already going around town, would you mind snapping some pictures of the family? Any you get and bring back, I'll put in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. Oh, I see you already have one there. Would you like to put it in? Here, you can have mine as well. Don't want to feel, uh, don't want anyone feeling lonely. Ah, oh geez. <laughs> Let's see how much you've learned so far. Oh. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. Collect the fam and uncover the scam. Family history mystery. Yeah, let's play. <clears throat> Click and drag the alligator portraits into position on the family tree. Come back anytime to see your collection. Ah. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So I have no idea where any of them go. Alligator family. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Sweet Geraldine. Age tween. Occupation? Mod on age appropriate anime forum. <laughs> Wait, does she actually go there? That was just a random placement. That was pretty good. Uh, Mom is probably like right here or something. Lovely Maria! 48. Occupation? Church rummage sale cashier. Is that where she actually goes? I just happen to be getting these right? Let me guess. You're like, um, you're over here or something? No, come back. Maybe you're over here? Nope. <laughs> Wait, did you say he was like a cousin? So you'd be like, over here? No, 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 you're gonna be on this side. Nope. 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 
Nope. Hey, there he goes. <clears throat> Slick Mickey. 18 annoying people. <laughs> and then you, you're just like an offshoot. Probably over here or something. Yeah. Joni, 23, pinball wizard. Cool. Nice. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, who's calling me? Pat. Hey, it's me, Pat. Okay. <laughs> the alligator? Alligator cell phone 20X. <laughs> the one with the hat? Hello, Pat. <laughs> it's almost 10, can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. <laughs> well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that couldn't mean anything. <laughs> one free tomato soup, best in alligator New York City. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, oh, I do have a pinstripe suit. Sick. Oh, and I wear glasses. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? <laughs> Don't pop me. Oh, 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 it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? <laughs> I just saw a dare shirt at uh, a store the other day. You know, dare, dude, assassins really exist. <laughs> at least I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was a tough time for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. Cool. Anyway, did you find out anything from the family? Well, well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off this trail. Sorry, I've actually been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. <laughs> Maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. And less loggy with bread. Let's go. <laughs> okay, come on, Pat. <laughs> Oh, I love it. He's, he's just waddling along. Find the code to Pat's abode. My safe place. I'll play. Let's go. Help Pat back into his hotel room. Help Pat with his outdated website. And help Pat remember his room code. <laughs> Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. Yeah. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take 10 more hours of waiting. <clears throat> What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers? <laughs> Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget uh, the lock's passcode. So I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. <laughs> I even made a button you can click for it. Gee, I'm really glad I took those oddly specific button-making classes at my local community center. There's a website button in the bottom right. <laughs> this is Pat's homepage, generated by Geoscalies. Oh no! Our image! It's broken! <laughs> warning, warning, warning. About me. Don't click. Pat only. Sorry, under construction. Cutie, life is a beach. <laughs> oh, this brings me back to MySpace. About me. Welcome to my own page. About me. I'm Pat. Why do you have to scroll so much? <laughs> Under construction! <laughs> oh, you can just grab and drag it. Okay. Uh, don't click. Pat only. If you're not Pat, you're breaking the law. This has been reported to the computer police. 91619. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Is that all I needed? Or was I supposed to actually click on it? Nine one six one nine. Well, now what do I do? <laughs> Pat, what do you want? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> oh, here we are. 
This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? That's www.alligator.fun. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. How do I... 91619. You did it! Thank you so much! <laughs> oh, uh, I, I can't close it. What's going on? Help, you gotta help me. I don't even like pink. 91619. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was this acid goo? Uh, uh, who's this? Tim. Hello. My word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two? And why have you opened my door? Huh? Who am I? I'm Pat and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But this is my door where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. <laughs> but if that's true and my password still worked, is your lock code 91619? <laughs> is your lock code 91619? <laughs> We have the same code! <laughs> and our families are both trying to kill us! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here. Or I'll come for you. Endlessly. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? <clears throat> yes, it was, Pat. Yes, it was. I hope that guy's room is okay. Oh, it didn't let me read it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we gotta get to your room, buddy. We gotta get to your room and get through this. This is great. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> okay, this is your room. Aha, uh -huh, this is my actual room. They're so similar. No wonder I mixed them up. Ah, uh, no wonder. 91619. Thanks! I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in! <laughs> Win! Next. Phew! I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from your from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m., so don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay. <laughs> so long, Pat. It's been a good one. The sound effects are very loud as well. I'll put those down. Um, okay. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I must talk to all of you. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> let's leave. Back to alligator new- Oh, hi. Who are you? <clears throat> Fifth William the Fourth. <laughs> oh boy, that sign flower looks as tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her, but I usually leave when someone calls the alligator police or I slip and fall down a rather overwrought fashion. <laughs> it's too hard to get all the way back up if you fall. No elevator, you know. You just have to use elbow grease, which I have yet to speak to my doctor about. <laughs> okay. All right. What about, who are you? Uh, what time is it? I said, what time is it? 10.30. Oh, we're running out of time here. Oh my, you're back already. Why, hello again, dear. Did you manage to take any family photos? I did. Of your son. Let's go and put him in the right place. I'll play. Does this take up time? This might take up time. Okay, and you're one of... You're probably the top here, huh? Nice. Pat, 24! Lovable doofus. Biotech. <laughs> Occupation. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Okay, let's go uh, let's take the streetcar. How do I take the streetcar? The oh? Bing, bing. Oh, that's all it does? <laughs> How do I get in? Oh, it's bottom right. My bad. 
<gasps> Welcome to my beautiful city, Mayor Wibblyfin. <laughs> Fun facts, booming bug economy. See the Alligator New York City Alligator Opera, Opera presents Alligator Pagliacci. Free hot dogs on Fridays. Map of Alligator New York City. Memorial Park, unsavory part of town, the fun district, and downtown. Where am I though? I don't know. Let's go downtown though. Oh, that's right, the tram actually takes time. Oh, I got a puzzle! Nice. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I got another puzzle piece, yes! Oh, there's a lot of people out here. Oh, there's a lot of you. Sleepy pants. Man, I'm so totally asleep right now. Love being asleep. Jorge, or George. The Breeze, the participating quartet. What a perfect day to be a live alligator. Skateboard gator. Uh, another puzzle piece. How many puzzle pieces are there around here? Who are you? Papuli! Mugs! Mugs for sale! More than one, even! Unlike what the sign implies! Yeah, I sell bugs here! No, not for baiting, for eating! We're alligators, and we eat bugs, which is something you know because you exist here, canonically! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Fork? Knife? Soon! <laughs> Anyway, get bug buying or good buying, kiddo. I ain't got all day. Cause I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs, which I buy with an alligator currency. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be hard to use, this voice. Most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr., the third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without its problems. Such as how it's how it was hard to see him when he turned directly to the side. <laughs> Gamble, where are you? We'd call, but to no avail. He'd already slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. It's last time we ever saw him, and also when those basement sounds started up. But look at me rambling here to a youth about cellar screams and the like. Let's talk about Pat. Uh, did you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kings out of my table on Tuesdays. <sighs> Did you mean Pat or Pat? You'll have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. <laughs> uh, event, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see, in that I forget about things I don't really want to go to. <laughs> Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you help me out with a favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife, Martha, has also been a victim of a wheat thresher incident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Get her help this old softy gaze upon his old love once more. Oh, I'll do it just for you. Get the pieces glued for this old dude. Make my wife, please. All right, let's play. Click a block to slide it into the empty space. Reassemble the picture to gaze upon this alligator's beautiful wife. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are the worst. <laughs> All right, I need to get you up here. So that's probably good at that spot. Um, top of her head is there, so I gotta get you over. To here, uh, we need to get this up and over. Oh, oh, wait, wrong way, wrong way. Um, oh, it's separated by too many pieces. Hold up, hold up. Wait, no, it'll be on the wrong side. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, so I need to flip them somehow. So bring it down, down here. <clears throat> um. Wait. <laughs> ah, dang it. 
Okay. I think that'll work. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it. <laughs> I'm making this too hard on myself, aren't I? Um... Okay, here, let's just get let's just get some of the, some of the pieces in the right spots. Oh. Okay, I think we have to do the top last or something. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? <laughs> that goes there. Um <clears throat> Oh dang it. I hate these puzzles so much because I'm so bad at them. <laughs> okay, this needs to go over here. Uh... Uh... Oh, no... Oh, no... Uh... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Why am I so bad at these? Okay, 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 okay. Dang it, okay. No? Oh my... <laughs> I hate these puzzles! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Her face is fixed for now. Um... That goes there. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Okay, what if I do the old switcheroo on these a couple times? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, that goes there. That goes there. Ah, crap. I'm so close. <laughs> I'm so bad at these. <clears throat> Me sweat. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it looks like you're not very good at this solver. No, I'm gonna keep sliding, game. I'm gonna keep on sliding. Don't make fun of me like that. Oh, I need to get this part there. <clears throat> Oh, this is the worst, man. This is, I'm telling you, this is the worst. Oh my. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. We're very close, no! <laughs> We're so close! I just need to switch these two and put our hand. I don't know where the hand goes! <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Okay, these these need to swap. These need to swap. <laughs> it's coming back. It's like like you're not very good at this. <laughs> no, leave me alone. Oh, I did it. Oh, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating because I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, no! No! Where does this one go? <laughs> oh, no! I just solve it! Just solve it! <laughs> That's it. That's my part. <laughs> Oh, lovely dear mother, I'll always remember the sounds of her sweet voice and her... Oh dear, it seems you've seen the other side now with my secret wife! Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for creepy old coot grandpa's everywhere! There's no way I'm gonna be able to solve this! It's so hot! Why is it so hot? Oh my gosh, I'm taking off my 
jacket just to do this. Oh my gosh. Get out of my arm! Alright. My episode is over. Let's do this thing. Who's your secret wife? Is... Are, are they doing karate? Is this a black belt? Why are there so many faces? This... I'm not gonna be able to finish this one! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm telling you guys, I hate these puzzles so much. <laughs> oh... I'd totally be down to solving it. But, like, I just don't want to take the time to do it. <laughs> okay, is this the... Is that the right spot? It might be the right spot for those. Where, where does... Oh, I gotta get your head up here, man. Um... Uh... No. Okay, there's that part of the head. Is that go to the very top? That probably goes to the very top, huh? Oh my gosh, the sign's coming again. You know what? You know what, game? Let's just solve this freaking thing. <laughs> Win! Next. <coughs> Excuse me. You got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Oh, Gertie. Good old Gertie. It's been years since I've looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man-breaking arms. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reunited with both my lost loves. Martha passed years ago, but Gertie is just in witness protection. You know, from all the man-breaking. What a firecracker, that gal. On cold days, I can still feel the phantom broken body pain she left me. <laughs> uh, event? Oh, you mean tonight's event. Well, I can tell you it's on past my bedtime. You young folk love staying up late. Me, I'm in bed by six nightly, after a modest dinner of soft bug puddings, and four to seven episodes of soft flutes on public broadcast. <laughs> anyway, kiddo, thanks again for helping me out. Or should I say, helping three out. <laughs> Don't tell my grandkids. Bring for you. Unknown. Okay, who is this? Hey again, your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? I have. Oh, I have. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. <laughs> Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. <laughs> the world is bright, so have lots of fun looking around. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh man. What about these guys? What about you? Hi there. Mona the Snipper. Are you here about joining the resistance? Come to the front door, but don't let the feds tail you. The password is the only thing worth fighting for. Justice Absolute. Which is also the name of my favorite Mark's leaning ska band. Yes, I said favorite. There are more than one. <laughs> there are two, as a matter of fact. Their first single was about putting a potato in the tailpipe of a crooked alligator governor when he tried to join their mailing list. No GMOs. That's no governors may opt in. <laughs> Wait, I didn't want to go in the door yet. Whom? I'm Mona, but you can call me by my online handle for safety, which is kpopangel85. <laughs> what? I can have other interests besides the cause. <laughs> do you mean hat pat? Or do you mean bat pat? <laughs> no, no, you probably mean hat pat. Bat Pat is my high school neighbor that used to pick me up for DSA meetings on Fridays, until he got grounded. He'd apparently broken his Nene's favorite set of extremely fragile and large-eyed porcelain deer with something? A club? Hmm. Well, it's not important. We'll spring him eventually. Yes, Dad, I mean legally. Anyway, Hat Pat is an okay dude. I barely know the guy, but he still made me a punch-proof vest to wear to protect out of Dr. Soda bottle caps. He's a stand-up alligator. <laughs> he may he maybe drinks too much soda though. 
Doesn't he know that what the government puts in that stuff? I tell you, but the CI agent that watches my cell phone would probably delete my chumbler inventions. <laughs> That's where I keep all my pictures of day one. <laughs> the event. Which, I have four events to go to this week alone. Like tomorrow, it's Minestrone Monday at the soup kitchen. <laughs> then it's on to Taco Tuesdays at the women's shelter. Wednesday doesn't have a funny name, but everyone does get those cupcakes with the white squiggles as an extra at the alligator food bank. If you're talking about tonight, though, you may as, you might as well go act like a cop somewhere else, Officer Pinstripes. I don't rat out my comrades. My mind is bolted up so tight, the Count of Monte Cristo has spent years trying to escape from me whilst plotting his vengeance against those who wronged him. We just finished reading that book in my Tuesday Lit class. Pretty baller, to be honest. I love revenge and breakfast. <laughs> Okay, what's your minigame? Listen, I'm not trying to give you crud about Pat or something. I'm just a little stressed out. Not to go all first world probs on you, Bobs, but I have a zine due to be scanned by tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> a zine? If I miss this deadline, it won't get printed in time for the Indie Comics annual People with Bangs convention this weekend. Do you know how long it takes to staple a stack of these? <laughs> At least two full episodes listening to Gator Crater, a true crime podcast about the world's most blown up alligators. Yes, Dad, I also have Algebra 2 homework. If you can help me put some of these pictures together, maybe I could give you the straight dope about that dope. So, are you ready to join the resistance? <laughs> Make paper word salad, because your voice is valid. Smells like, z like zine spirit. Let's play. Mona Zine needs to cover three topics, evenly. Choose a clip to add to the zine, then click the page to glue it in place. Be careful, some clips cover two topics at once. Okay, let's see how this one turns out. So check it, Pinstripes, I've already done all the hard zine stuff, like picking the clips and cutting everything with semi-street lines. I need you to pick a good selection, then glue them into place. Sadly, ever since the stickening of 2017, I'm not allowed to use glue myself, or glue sticks, or rubber cement, or large stickers, or small stickers. So you're going to have to be the hero that sticks the picks. This zine encompasses, of course, the three most important, most zine-y things possible. I'm talking about social issues, indie comics, and K-pop, obviously. These three topics go together like peanut butter jelly and a third comparable thing that escapes me in this moment. But that doesn't mean we can lean into any one more than the other. My zine has to be balanced or people will think I'm biased. That means no page space for any one thing more than the other. So pick up a pick and get ready to stick. Careful though, I have a limited selection of content and glue is forever. Just ask my hamster. <laughs> Rest in peace, Valhalla, Goopy the Third, 2015 to 2017. When you're done, we'll ask the editor if it's ready to scan. So get pasting. <laughs> okay, this is very confusing. That cover is really important. It has to portray the essence of what's on the inside. It's sort of like choosing what un uh, ironically humorous t-shirt to sport at Rosh Hashanah that'll really unsettle your extended family. Okay. Um. Wait, what? <laughs> Eat it, Wibbly Finn! This will get him canceled for sure. Okay, I didn't mean to choose that one, but I chose it. Don't forget to balance these, the topics. I wouldn't want anyone to accuse me of political bias. Or standing bias. <laughs> um... So, Wibblyfin, two black and white on the big issues, or Together Forever tour. Let's do this one. I actually made this one myself. No one watches the Xerox machine in the school library at lunchtime on Tater Tot Day. Okay. X-Top. <laughs> Style, toughy, hair, freedom. <laughs> hey, kid, want to see something? Okay. Look. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Lol, I'm going to send this one to everyone I know, <laughs> and some people I don't. If you type random numbers into your phone, they have to go somewhere, right? <laughs> and then, do we really want someone who eat a sad lunch for another term in office? Oh, we gotta do this one. <laughs> Why don't more boys wear eyeliner? Everyone could benefit from having the mysterious allure of a perfect wingtip. <laughs> I didn't win the zine award at last year's con, but I did place third in Cool Bangs. Okay, so we've got Q&A with Joshua Ransom. Ransom. Uh, I didn't really get an interview with this. Uh, I didn't really get an interview. This is just what I hope he'd say to me. Ah! I love you, JR! Hope you read this! 
Question. Ah! Aw, oh, that's okay. I love you. What type of girls do you like? Oh, any kind. But mostly the kind that are like you on the inside. <laughs> Who is doing this costuming for your next tour? Actually, the designer couldn't do it anymore because you look like the perfect person to take his place. <laughs> What's that amazing smell of flowers? What is... What is it? I emit this amazing smell when I'm near someone I might have feelings for, as long as it's okay with them. <laughs> Question from name. Would you be our new costume designer and also live with me forever? From interviewer, now becoming interviewee. Oh my, I couldn't... Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> or this one. <laughs> uh, let's do the Q&A, that one's good. This one's a real exclusive. I can't believe we got it. Okay. The last inside page is a hard hitter. You have to really leave them wanting more. Like, really, actually more. Like, maybe they'll give you a couple more bucks to pick up a few for their comrades. Okay, so we got the show. This is Lois. She feels Wibblyfin is an inadequate mayor. Love, Lois. Balance the budget? He can't even balance on this log. In his own yard, no less. <laughs> Let's do this one. I actually have this poster. My sister Lizzie helped me put it on my bedroom ceiling. And then this one. So we've got Cassandra. With every beat of my heart, I long for you. Douglas! I am very stoic and I don't like anyone because of my tragic past. But you, Cassandra, have broken through my harsh, scaly exterior and changed me with your extremely quirky personality, inability to cook, and unusually beautiful singing voice. <laughs> Healthcare Wibblyfin would rather save the scales on his back than weigh in on what matters. Public restroom chocolate fountains. <laughs> and then what was this one? Will I always be so alone? At least pompous guy misunderstandings is still streaming. <laughs> Am I destined to be on my own like the most beautiful star in the sky that other stars are not near because it's just too slamming? Final season. But soon, even they will leave me too. This one really taps into the deep well of the soul. Okay. We're almost there. Just paste on the back cover and we're all done. Okay. Mayor Wibblyfin would make a terrible addition to the K-pop group 8 Guys, and therefore we should examine what type of politicians we really want to hold office in our beloved city. <laughs> As you can see from this photo, he just doesn't fit, and therefore the case is made that he is out of touch despite his effort to not look out of touch, and looks gross here in this photo. <clears throat> Mayor Wibblefin. Uncompromising hair. Partisan. Teeth? <gasps> okay, hand. Embezzling tail. Gerrymandering fingers. And then the team effort starring eight guys. <laughs> Let's do this one. If anything, this is too flattering. You're all done? Hand it over. Okay, this is probably poorly done, but let's see. Oh, yes, this is perfect. Let's show it to the editor for approval. <laughs> mm, huh? Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> World's daddest mug. It looks like we're all set to scan and send to the printers. <laughs> Did none of it matter? <laughs> uh, each page is balanced and checked and earned my respect, copyright. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. Hmm, that's a pretty rad tagline. If I had a public access channel talk show, which is 100% in the cards, by the way, if I keep up B Plus's second term, that would definitely be my sassy catchphrase. Anyways, the event is a gross allocation of funds, if you want my opinion. And did you know helium is a finite resource? Seriously, I'll Google it. <laughs> Every balloon at that shindig is basically a big heck off to the folks that really need it. Like scientists and clowns that are down on their luck but have hopeful hearts. I'll see you there tonight, comrade. Bring your favorite safety pin covered jean vest for righteous popping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's check my watch. It's 12.15. All right. I think that's going to do it for later alligator. Let's go to the main menu. Your data will be saved. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is great. I love this. This is such a fun little, little game. It, apparently, it's like three to four hours long. So get a few episodes in of this. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it uh, and enjoyed my sweaty tirade trying to solve that puzzle. It's been so hot here in California in November and it's, uh, I got my AC on, but apparently, I think, I don't think I said it right, because I don't think it went on this entire time, but I'm just sweating here, so 
thank you all so much for coming out for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts on this. If you'd love to see more, uh, I plan on playing through this, but I'd love to hear kind of what you all think about it. And if you're excited for more, more of Pat in the Alligator New York City. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos and any new later Alligator content. And of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.